and then you just take them off. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, Sam. You know I love Kewpie Japanese mayonnaise, and this is one of the best party tricks with shrimp and Kewpie ever. And if you don't like shrimp, well, just f off. I make this almost every time we have company. Almost every time. Why? A, because it's easy. B, because it's crazy freaking delicious. C, because everyone loves it. D, because it involves QP Japanese mayonnaise that I'm personally 100% in love with. If you could marry a food product, Kelly would be gone. This would be on the pillow beside me at night. Just like that. And you think that's creepy. But the people that know this, well, they don't think it's creepy. They think it's true. They're just scared to admit it. Look, I'm the guy that says shit that other people are thinking, but are scared to. These are skewered shrimp. Uh, uh, a little different. I know people normally think about skewering shrimp this way, like this, like in a, like in the C shape. Well, that's bullshit. I don't like that. I don't like the way it eats. I don't like the way it looks. That's what I want. I want long, skewered long like this. Let me show you what to do. So you grab your shrimp. This is a 1620. It means there's between 16 and 20 a pound. The smaller the number, the more shrimp there are in a pound, right? So now you take your skewer and starting at the, the tail end of the shrimp, and you go, and you go, and as you go, you straighten, 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 straighten. It's never gonna be really perfect until it's like this, skewered up and down, like these guys, skewered up and down. Allow me to do that again. We take our shrimp. Look, it can be a single skewer. I just didn't have any. These are the ones that I had, so I'm going with this. You take the skewer right into the tail. Uh, gentle pressure. And it goes, and then as you push, you straighten, you straighten, you straighten until you get like this. I don't mind telling you, this is bringing back nightmares from my urodirectomy. Oh my God, I'm reliving it all over again. Which by the way, if you haven't heard it, go listen to the last podcast. It'll give you fucking nightmares forever. But now look what you've got. You've got a row of beautifully skewered shrimp ready to be dealt with. Do this early in the morning, do it the day before. And by the way, if you haven't heard my tale of woe from my ureterectomy, and if you don't know what that is, I'm not even gonna tell you, just go listen to our last podcast and it will freak you the F out. But now here's what you've got. You've got beautifully skewered shrimp. And by the way, in the interest of making your life easier, nothing any other cooking channel tells you, do this the day before, two days before, seal them up, they're gonna be fine. But now we have to prep them. So we take a little bit of oil, avocado oil, of course, nothing flavor. Don't waste your olive oil here. And by the way, the other channels, they're like, oh, extra virgin olive oil, olive oil, use this, use that, spend your money, we don't give a shit. I'm just talking, who cares about you out there in YouTube land? Oh, we care. Do we care, Max? Big time. Max cares big time. And if he cares big time back there, how much do you think I care here in front of you? Super big time. So lightly oil these like this. It's a little oil, 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 oil. Now, because you've already got some on the top, that means on the bottoms, you just do this. And now you got it everywhere, right? Everybody's got a little bit of oil on board and that's what you want. You don't want these to stick. You want them to be nice. Everybody's happy, 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 happy. And now a little salt and pepper kosher salt and pepper of course and you don't need to flip sides for this just one side is enough because these are frankly not that big I mean they're a nice size shrimp but it's not like a steak you don't have to worry about both sides one side is done now we go to the flat top and now it's a simple matter of taking our beautifully skewered lightly oiled shrimp putting them on yes you could lay these down in a non-stick pan if that's what you had yes you could do these on a barbecue Yes, any way you want to get these things done, you could do it. Don't feel obligated to use this Evo, because you might not have it. 
anything you got. All we're doing is cooking these guys and they're not gonna take very long. Look how cute that is. Damn, that makes me happy. I love shrimp. I like to give them like a little, uh, what would you call this? A little movement to make sure that they're not sticking. But look, these are the first guy, these are the first guys we did. They're cooking nicely. So now you can start to turn the kids over. What's our goal here? It is not to overcook the shrimp. Oh, they're gorgeous. As they start to go opaque, that's your sign. And remember, you can eat shrimp raw. Happens all the time. Japanese restaurants, sushi bars, certain things completely raw. It's all good. So don't worry. Now as these are starting to finish a little more, we prep our next ingredient. There's only two more ingredients, three, two more. Okay, I'm turning them back. You don't have to, but I want to. And now you're ready for the cool part. Here's our next ingredient. It's QP Japanese mayonnaise. Everybody's favorites in this house. It should be yours too. But watch what we do. We're gonna take some on our little uh, brush and we're gonna brush the tops of each one. I know, Sam, what the hell are you doing? We know you're a bit of a fanatic, a bit obsessive about the Japanese mayonnaise, but this, this looks ridiculous. Who would ever paint mayo on cooking shrimp? Well, I would, and when you see the result, wait, more importantly, when you taste the result, you're gonna be like, oh, holy shit. The kid was right. Damn, why do we ever doubt him? And you shouldn't. When everybody's painted, our last ingredient comes along. And you ready for that? It is, boom, togarashi. Okay, that's not helpful, is it? It's. It's a Japanese red pepper, uh, uh, what's the red pepper mix? Seasoning. Seasoning, thank you. This is what it looks like. It's brand new. Shrimp are f***ing up. Gorgeous, right? Japanese red pepper seasoning. So we do this. Everybody gets some. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, what fun is this? It's a holiday right here. It's Japanese togarashi confetti. And look, you could leave it there and it would be fantastic. But there's one more step, not an ingredient, a step. And that is, and that is my little torch. Okay, watch what the flame does. The flame is gonna burn this Japanese mayo and the togarashi into these little skewers of shrimp. And what's gonna happen? The mayo caramelizes, the flavor intensifies. I told you, I do this at almost every event that we have. I told you, I do this at almost every party we have. I did this for a private event the other day and the people were like, oh, holy crap, what happened here? I was like, see, never doubt, never doubt. I'm not gonna steer anybody wrong, I promise. This is one of those little creme brulee torches. There's definitely other uses for it. We'll put a link if you want one. But this, you can't, I mean, this is not, this doesn't work putting these under the broiler, you know? You really want a torch. A torch does everything that's perfect. A torch does everything good for this. And when they're done, you take them off, you put them on a platter, and away you go. Are they gorgeous there, Max? Yeah. I'm so happy. It's okay. It's okay. All's good. Trust me out. What have I done? I could not be calm. So right there, you, but normally you would be stressing me out. About the thought it's, of what you're thinking. It is okay, not ready. fair to accuse me of something that I'm not doing. Ready. And then you just take them off. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, Sam. Thank you for making us, Sam. You're welcome. What are you going to do with us now, Sam? Oh, um, I don't know. I was thinking of maybe eating you. Wait, what? 
No, you can't eat me. I can't? Just you watch. Boom. There they are. Look at them this way. Look at them this way. Look at them, they're <laughs> stupid. Let's just freaking eat one, shall we? I got one, I got a kid right here. You gotta admit, look, gorgeous, pretty, simple to make, you need the little torch. F, it's like 15 bucks or something, I don't know. You ever made creme brulee? You need one of these. If you ever made these, you need one of these. You ever want to heat up the door handle on the inside while somebody's coming from the... Never mind, don't do that, it's a terrible idea. But what is an excellent idea is this. Mm. Oh my God, okay. You get the spice from the togarashi, which by the way, can go in a ton of things and is absolutely, think like red pepper flake, maybe a tiny bit of cayenne, a little, maybe a little chili powder kind of stuff, really good. The shrimp are, because of how we cooked them, they were room temperature, the heat was high enough, this long, they're tender, they're perfect. Oh, come on, they're so good. There's not one person at any event you have that will hate them unless they hate shrimp, and then what the hell are you inviting them for? See, I almost said, what the fuck are you inviting them for, but I held back. I'm trying to show a little restraint. All right, by the way, it may not be obvious, but right now, we're in Japan. I'm somewhere in Osaka, right now. Walking around, saying, ohayou gozaimasu, and, and eating amazing food that you will see when we come back. The episode will be the top 10 things that... Kid's got an itch, he's like a dog. You okay? Go ahead, yeah. The episode will be first, top 10 things to eat in Tokyo, and then street food in Osaka. We do this for you, out of love for you, our viewer. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, did subscribing, commenting, saying hi when you see me, you're so nice, and. And, and I dig it, so. Anything else? We're forgetting anything? You forgot to say where that shirt was. Oh, the shirt, by the way. Now available online. This is one of our two uh, uh, celebrating us in uh, Japan shirts. This says, see I'm the cooking guy. It's actually, that's what it's cooking man Sam. Jilly says it's actually cooking man Sam. You get it. It's not like you can read it anyways. I certainly can't. I, unless you're Japanese. But it also has this kid on the back, which we like. Half of me. All right, thanks for hanging out. Go make the shrimp. Get this. We'll link it. Get this. Get this. Get this. Your next party will be fantastic.